The Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review is brought to you by... Boys and girls, children, children of all ages, welcome to uh, Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review. Skateboard Watchtower. We haven't Tower filmed in a couple of days, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's been a couple like, of days. It's like I got a bigger bodyguard here, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are we reviewing today? Hitman Bodyguard. Hitman's Bodyguard. With Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson. Hold on to your butts. Once again, Gary Oldman. He's been in a lot of our videos. G Gary Oldman. What, what is it with Gary Oldman? Like, he just pops up everywhere. I think him and Brian, he's Wilson, he's I think him and Brian Wilson are related to each other. I mean, yeah, like. Yeah, Brian Wilson. People's home equity. equity. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, yeah, we're shouting at you. You're everybody. everywhere. You're everywhere. <laughs> but, uh, um, but, yeah, seriously. Oh, it's, and, it, of course, the beautiful mm -hmm. Selma Hayek. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, uh, and also, this film is brought to you by the, the Game Store Moore in Game Marion, Store North Carolina. Moore, Marion, North Carolina. <laughs> and so, it's, it's what do you think about this? I gotta ask you because I went and watched it. I, I got went and watched it, and I'm like, dude, you gotta watch this movie. Usually, you're the one hit me up. You gotta watch this movie. I'm like, bro, you gotta watch this movie. I was so surprised. It, it takes a different view of Hitman and the whole thing. You know, you see these movies like Born Identity and all this stuff with people who are trained to put, to put up with everything and anything in the field. These guys are showing kind of this, things do go wrong. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and this thing, because it's not actually about it's about a, a protective agency yeah. guy yeah. who's hired to watch over his hitman who is uh, under... Uh, and, and basically his court, rival. To, the court to take out these uh, evil uh, well, country... Uh, dictator. I yeah, I don't, dictator. Get, I don't want to get into the whole thing with the clues spoil of the... But, but, but the if thing you about haven't it, seen it, you got to go watch because it's classic... Ryan Reynolds and classic Samuel L. Jackson. Classic Samuel L. Jackson. And here's the thing, and this is something I told you. I said, I said it's it's Deadpool acting as Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> was it not? Yes. It was Deadpool yes. acting as Ryan Reynolds. Where, where yes. Ryan Reynolds plays yes. Deadpool, Deadpool was playing Ryan Reynolds in his movie. Right. And it is so hilarious. And, yeah. I mean, oh, especially yeah. with some of the scenes and, and the stuff that happens to him. No, oh, yeah, and I mean, I'm thinking the one you, we know each other. We know the, <laughs> the windshield. Well, 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 also, you know, she didn't tell you about. She didn't mess up the whole thing with Karasawa. I took out Karasawa. <laughs> it was one of the best shots I ever made in my life. It was <laughs> right there. So it yeah, was so a hit of convenience. It's got a whole plot twist and everything that goes with it. I mean, it's yeah, just, yeah, and it keeps you on your uh, toes. On your toes. I mean, I mean, cause I love. I love Ryan Reynolds in um, Safe House. Oh, yeah. It was filmed in, in um, South Africa. And he did a great job with Denzel Washington in that. And, and you know, here he is now. He's with Samuel L. Jackson. He's still around the world <laughs> doing stuff. And he's, I mean, he's, these guys just take it just one step further. Exactly. It's almost I mean, like Marvel Comics coming together and making a 
uh, a parody, a, a parody of, of something that off a hit, off a hitman and Deadpool uh, and everything, and everything else. else. I, I mean, it. but I mean that's the thing. Like he, I love some of those scenes where it's just you're looking at just somebody's reaction to their face, what they're because that scene with Ryan Reynolds where guy gets to get out and he's just. <laughs> and you just it goes complete from a smile just, to him just slowly uh, just going it goes from a five, five star rating executive uh, protection agency to <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and it was just so cool like how his face were, and, and, I, and I'm going to tell you like he's right up there as a student of Lon Chaney Sr. as far as facial reactions because you can tell a lot of his facial expressions. Well, that's what I change. love about, about everybody that's played this movie, man. Because, I mean, one thing you can always tell about uh, a good actor is they will tell you the story with their facial expressions. Exactly. And mm -hmm. these guys were just so hilarious and everything just going on with them. Like, that scene with Samuel Jackson. Samuel Hawk. Samuel Jackson. Yeah. She's just like, if, if you understand, if you're what's Samuel Hawk. She's one of those that plays to the camera with her facial expression. Exactly. And you understand what what her what where she is in the moment. And when you see that she actually plays it very well in this and, 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 and by the way, Samuel Jackson when he meets her for the first time <laughs> it's, the first, it's the first time he's been speechless, okay? That man does not get flustered by anything. <laughs> that man right there was <laughs> yes, it was it was hilarious <laughs> how they met and everything like <laughs> But I uh, don't want to give too much away. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. want to give it away. Uh, but but it, it's one of those movies that it's a rise from beginning as, to end. Yeah, as far as, as from from the filmmaker's point of view. They had uh, fun doing this. I guess so they had fun doing it. But also when you look at it, you know, with all the places where they've been. All the places where they've filmed it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the majority of it is right out in in the city. Yes, and yeah. to get some of these shots and to get some of this stuff, that the they, coordination they and everything um, of everybody together to get things shot because filming in big cities and big city places where there's tons of people around you, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to have everybody on cue, making sure everything and, runs. And well. I, I wish I could have got to see the uh, uh, how they made it. I don't know if there was any green screen. I'm pretty sure they used some oh, green screen. Oh, there's probably stuff. quite a bit of green screen. I like to see how much it was actually real. And, 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 and that's the thing. I want to point this out. is like I'm not, me and him are not against green screen. No. At, at all, or blue screen. I feel it's a tool to be used in filmmaking. I mean, there's nothing wrong with you. But when you overuse the tool to the extent where it becomes so blasé and mundane, it, it just loses its charm. I, mean, I understand the reason why it's done because there, there's times where you just can't get at and, it. Exactly, and, that, and that's fine it. to use and it for can, that. And, and unfortunately, in today's the way today's so now with with this, you know, with the quarantine, with the exactly. coronavirus stuff. And I mean, tons of productions are being shut down right now. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and green screen, these guys should go in and take just exactly, three and, and, and that's fine, and that's what I mean by that. Like, it's a tool um, to be used in the circumstances. But we've seen it go to. I mean, we we've been. I mean, I grew up with movies, and I've seen CGI go from, oh, yeah, man, that made a great shot, to now everything's well, CGI. You, you can't actually tell what well, is you went what from is. probably seeing it from Ray Harryhausen's stop-motion dinosaurs to watching the motion control Gumby, of Star Wars. Gumby, the, Gumby, and then going from Star Wars, the motion control magic that they pulled off that, to what we have today with Jurassic Park came out in the 90s with how production savvy it became mm -hmm. i mean that's yeah, the, i'm not you know again i'm not knocking it for 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 i mean it, it, it is a good tool and i understand you know, like because i mean if we go back and we look at uh the zookeeper uh with um can't think of the comedy but it had uh uh, uh, uh kevin he, something kevin Jim, kevin james kevin james yeah you know, where he jumped up on the ostrich you know, we, what we actually seen was that it wasn't actual ostrich, and so no ostrich got hurt. In exactly, the and I mean, that's it was one somebody of those that was in, and you know, that, those things, that I can understand. Exactly, that. I can accept And now that. they're looking at, okay, well, you know, instead of using, um, instead of using real guns and stuff, you know, you can have a, a fake gun or no back or swords. Yeah. That was one thing I talked about, you know, with Star Wars. You know, they had the lightsabers. You know? Yeah, they had and, material that was wrapped around to reflect yeah, light. Yeah, so, so you had... 
to you stop. You have to use real swords or real something before people get injured. Though. Exactly. And, exactly. and, and that's thing. great. And yeah. that's great. There's one thing getting getting your finger bashed, uh, uh, but another get it cut off. Exactly. You know, so that's what I understand. What I, I remember from. there was a, and we're cutting it short, but I remember uh, an interview with Christopher Lee talking about being an extra working with uh, Errol Flynn on a movie, and they were doing this whole fight scene, and all of a sudden, Errol Flynn came down, and he held his hand up, and he cut his hand open, mm -hmm. like this finger was almost severed by Errol Flynn's sword. And he talks about, this is the mark of Flynn. <laughs> but he said, this is what happened back in those days. Things yeah, happened. I mean, you know, back then, most people did their own stunt work. Exactly, or exactly. But um, anyways, so let's, uh, um, let's get into Star this, Ratings. Man. I got to say, because it's classic. Yes. Classic. Uh, Comedy. Samuel classic parody. Jackson, classic Ryan Reynolds. Uh, Gary Oldman, like I said, again, his part is just... Uh, <laughs> Classic Gary Oldman on that, and then uh, like I said, with Selma Hayek and, and where she parts uh, plays in that part. Uh, this I gotta say is was is one of my favorite comics. I look at it as a comedy adventure. Or comedy yes, prank. yes. And I guess I mean, become one of them. And I was kind of hesitant when I first heard about it, but I was like, you know what? People, I gotta get out of that thing to where I'm automatically judging the book by its cover. I gotta go I, and, exactly. And, and I've gotten to where I. I will go to the game store more and be looking at movies and I will look at something automatically and look at the cover but then also I'm reading the back of it and I'm looking at what's going on and said, I might take a chance on this just to, just at face value just to give it a chance mm -hmm. and also people taking genres and trying to slip so many things into so many genres that's great because a long time ago people were just putting it into either horror, comedy, drama, horror, comedy, drama. Now it's so diverse that it's great. Yeah, yeah it's I great. Mean, that whole mixture because it, it, it brings out a whole new it, crowd. Thing on the it, top, it, so. It's more susceptible to a bigger crowd. But all, all right, right, so let's go five star um, rating for entertainment. Uh, for entertainment, and we have five. I'm giving it a solid five. I mean, wow. I, I I I I laughed my butt off. I. Like my buff through Samuel Jackson in a truck full of nuns, okay? <laughs> Samuel Jackson in a truck full of nuns. Don't give it away. Don't give it away. Don't give it away. Just, yeah, that was that was funny, but yeah, Ron Riddle's going through the blue shield. I don't say nothing. Else. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. So yeah, it's definitely a five star rating on entertainment. As far as accuracy goes, it is based on some accurate true events and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But my thing is, as far as accuracy goes, where they shot at and everything, they did. They did excellent. So I'm going to give it a five. Five. I'm going to give it a five. And for popcorn value. Ten. you got to give it a ten. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a solid ten. I would give it eleven if I could. Exactly. I mean, it's a solid ten and it's great. I mean. And I mean, I wish I would have went to the movies and saw this on the big screen. Me too. Me too. Like I said, it once been again, I judged the book by its cover. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I can't see that happening. And, and, and yeah. also, I wanted to say that, you know, that Ryan Reynolds, he... He is a great actor, and I like. He's gone from being a comedic actor in his younger years to being a dramatic actor. Because so, yeah. he he even did um, the remake to Amityville Horror, and he actually did a really great job mm. in Amityville Horror. So so yeah, I mean. Uh, so we got five, five, and ten. So wrapping it up, Hitman Bodyguard. Bodyguard, would you watch it again? Nobody gets out of here alive. Yes, we would watch it again. Yes, and it's one of the movies that we would, you could watch over and over. Oh and yeah, you'd heard. love every minute. Of so it. yeah, so a big action and a bigger laughs. So that's exactly what it is. All right, so Hitman's bodyguard. Go grab it at the game store, store and more. more. Where are they located? Marion, North Carolina. Marion, North Carolina. Go ahead and say I want my bodyguard. I'm the hitman. You did the one thing I can't, I can't forgive. You <laughs> shot my bodyguard. Shot my bodyguard. <laughs> so, all right, for myself, I'm Del McCoy. Nick Revis. Nick Revis. Love, peace, and chicken, chicken grease. grease. Hoorah, wow. we're out of here. <laughs>